Living off the land, I see, huh? Yeah. John Coffee Hayes would be proud. What do you got on there? John Coffee Hayes. You don't know who John Coffee Hayes is? No. Why don't you put down that pole and I'll tell you a story. Come on, son, I ain't got all day. Sit, sit down. Looks like you got a fish. Don't worry about that. It's gone now. In the early 19th century, John Coffee Hayes was the original Texas Ranger. Chuck Norris has nothing on this real life pipe hitting ass kicker. Born in Tennessee, John was the nephew of American badass Andrew Jackson. When John was 15, both of his parents died of yellow fever and he set out soon after to be a land surveyor. The job basically consisted of living off the land and traveling through unknown territories with a bunch of nerdy math tools and unfinished maps that all got put on hold as soon as he heard about the brave men who defended the Alamo to the death. Like many others at the time, he wanted a piece of the action. John headed to Texas and name dropped old Uncle Andrew to get himself an officer's position patrolling the Texas frontier. He was a Texas Ranger and built himself a team of whiskey drinking sharpshooters to take on the Wild West with him. They patrolled hundreds of miles of countryside, protecting people from Mexican army patrols, Comanche raiding parties, gangs of bandits, and all kinds of other unsavory folk. Armed with revolvers, rifles, and badass knives, they were basically the coolest part of any good old western you've ever seen. Hayes' most famous fight was called the Battle of Walker's Creek. He and his 15 men were on patrol when a small group of Comanche warriors took some pot shots at them and retreated into the woods. John Hayes wasn't going to be fooled by the old fake retreat trick. He had seen it before, so they waited by the creek bed. As all 18 Comanche fighters emerged to size up these ballsy cowboys who were waiting for them. What they didn't expect was for Hayes to scream, CHARGE, and made a run on them with only 15 guys to their 80. The one advantage they did have was multiple shots in the revolvers and preloaded cylinders on their persons. The Comanche had single shot pistols and each shot had to count. Hayes also had his men hold their fire until they were right on top of them. Crowd them, powder burn them boys, he screamed. They drove right up those Comanche asses and started firing. Their rabid dog approach set the Comanches running immediately and John Hayes didn't lose a single man. John Coffee Hayes continued on with his band of ass kickers, capturing smugglers, killing bad guys, and keeping the wild and wild west over the years. He escaped death over and over again and died peacefully as an old man in 1883. Well, sorry about your fish and your pole, but at least you got a little knowledge. Take that back to your family, let them chew on that. <laughs>